Hi, today I'd like to introduce you Indicator Reliability Lab. It's basically a simplified backtesting tool, yet uh, it's very powerful, that allows you to uh, backtest any uh, a range of indicators and strategies um, up to any historical uh, charts. And that will give you much more confidence uh, in trading stocks when using a particular indicator. Um, so I'll just go straight into an example. To use the tool, you open a stock chart, in this case, Home Depot. Um, and you locate this uh, uh, button that uh, looks like a lab flask or a potion button and brings up the indicator reliability lab. So in this window, you can specify which indicator you want to test. As of now, you I have about 10 indicator strategies. For TR indicator, you don't have a parameter, but for RSI, for example, it automatically sets 14, but this is something you can customize. And a range of uh, comparison values, and you want to long or short to uh, open a position. Hold duration is how long you want to hold uh, the position until you close. Again, this is a simplified backtesting tool, so it doesn't let you specify exit or stop loss but it still gives you a very good sense of how reliable an indicator predicts the top or predicts the bottom when the trend reverses, or uh, it doesn't work at all. Um, so it, it tells you that uh, information and gives you much uh, more confidence when using a particular indicator on a particular stock. So let's try this uh, TR by reversal complete example. Again, the TR, exam, uh, TR indicator doesn't have uh, a parameter, and the condition is uh, greater than 10, count 10. Um, usually count 9 would, is the TR complete, uh, uh, by reversal complete, but in my experience, 10 works a little better. So I just, the default value is 10. Again, you can customize this to your wish. And I was, uh, since it's a buy signal, I'll just default to buy and hold duration 12 days, it just sounds reasonable. And uh, scan duration is how long, how many days you want to uh, the back test to go for. And this gives you the range, the minimum is 200 and the maximum depends on the stock. Um, it's Home Depot case, it has 8,700 of historical data. So you can go back as long as you want. <clears throat> but I thought, uh, Around 1500 or 1600 is a reasonable uh, time frame to test because that's would recall around the equivalent of five years of history. So you just press the back test button and it calculates the profit factor. Uh, if you want to know the definition of these terms, uh, profit factor is the basically the total gain divided by total loss and probability is derived from profit factor. Average uh, percentage return, uh, that's 6%, and it lists all the trades. Uh, in this case, there are six trades uh, within the uh, this uh, scan period. And the number of winning trades and losing trades, since all six trades were winning trades, the profit factor is infinite and probability of winning is 100. And you can highlight the trades in chart. Uh, the checkbox is already checked, so all these uh, trades have been highlighted. This is the percentage return for the trade and, uh, and the time it happened, the date in this case. For the intraday chart, you can, um, the time will become the, the time during the day. But for the daily chart, it just gives you the date. So you can see from 2016, all the way to 2011, these are the six trades that happened. Um, and since it highlights in the chart, the chart is already highlighted, the trades already highlighted in the chart, as you can see with the with this yellow highlight. And here's an, an example. Um, the TR by complete reversal signal here, this is the count 10, and this by signal, signal and you hold for 12 days and sell. So this will give you 1.5% um, gain. And the next trade is here. The buy, you buy it here and you sell after 12 days. 
and they give you 4.7% gain. Again, um, you could, again, you would have um, probably done better uh, by waiting for the sell reversal signal. In this case, you would have made much more money if you waited longer. And in this case, uh, also, in this case, about the same. But basically, you can see the, the whole duration uh, does affect the uh, the outcome, but it just gives you gives you an average sense how well the indicator performs, or it doesn't perform at all. So if you hold an average of ten days, still still the same uh, outcome. It's, but if you if you're impatient, you only uh, you you have uh, some smaller time frame for trading, short term trade. You want to only hold for three days. Again, you can see the profit factor drop, uh, probability also drops uh, significantly, and uh, you would have one losing trades and five winning trades. So we just go back to 12, and the chart is still highlight, highlighted. And you can navigate uh, these trades. Instead of scrolling, you can use uh, left and right uh, button, uh, basically. That will scroll zoom into each trade one at a time. So this one is pretty good trade and again you would have made more uh, if you waited until the sell reverse so uh, complete signal. Again if you're not familiar with the TRTD indicator there are, uh, there is a separate video uh, to introduce you how to how to use, how to read the TR exam uh, TR indicator. This is uh, based on, on the assumption that you're already familiar with the indicator. You just uh, want to know how to use a backtesting to indicator reliability lab. Again, you can scroll through these trades. Okay, so let's uh, try test another indicator, RSI. Now you specify the parameter RSI 14 is the standard and less than 30 means uh, oversold. So in this strategy, you're basically telling uh, the indicator reliability lab to test what happens if you buy uh, when RSI is less than 30 and hold for 12 days and uh, scan for 1500 days. And you can simply just click. Oh. It gives you a warning. It says that currently the chart uh, indicator is set to a uh, TRTD, but you want to test RSI. You want to uh, set the chart to RSI indicator. You say yes, and it gives you uh, a results. And and here is the probability: 88%, uh, slightly lower than 100%, of course, but it still seems reasonably reliable with three three percent uh, average return. Seven winning trades versus two losing trades. No, this is an an unacceptable um, results, and I would be confident enough to use the RSI indicator for this particular stock. So let's just go to the chart. When you change the indicator, um, it requires a refresh here. Oh, didn't highlight in chart. So back test again. Now it highlights. So again, uh, as in the previous uh, indicator, it highlights where the trades happened. Again, if you're familiar with RSI indicator, you would uh, wait until RSI 70 over bot level before selling. So for each of the trade uh, estimate, it's pretty conservative, um, the, the, the outcome of the trade. So these looks pretty. These all look very good um, trades. Let's see where that one losing, a couple of losing trades uh, come from. This this is probably one of them. You buy here, and uh, after 12 days, that you lower. But again, if you wait until RSI 70, you would have uh, made a profit. And that's the end. Now that we've done uh, TR, uh, TD, and RSI uh, indicator, now what about other? There is RSI crossover, uh, which just means that uh, uh, when the when the, 
the pre previous day value is less than 30 and today is greater or equals to 30 and then that's a buy signal and so on you have uh, many many indicators so which which one do you choose that largely depends on your observation uh, on a particular stock on a, on a trading uh, or from your experience or just personal preference which indicator you you're most feel most familiar with but I also included uh, this predefined EOD summary table that gives you um, pre-computed profit factors and probability average return basically all these results are pre-computed uh, on my server uh, for all the stocks that so with a long enough history uh, that are supported. So you can at one glance you see which indicator works the best um, for this uh, particular stock and it's optimized for the whole duration. And in this example you can see that the TR buy reversal signal works very well 95% but sell reversal signal is not very good at all so I would never uh, short this stock uh, when the sell reversal count is greater than 10 um, because just based on last five years of trading history you would uh, you would not make money you actually lose uh, money and RSI works fairly reasonable 82% at hold here to 12 but RSI 30 crossover is even better MFI 14 works beautifully it's almost uh, 100% and MFI 100% CCI again I can add more indicators uh, as time goes on with uh, from your suggestions and requests um, but this uh, table will help you greatly identify which indicator to use and uh, to trade with and uh, now let's look at another stock uh, let's say uh, Tesla open the indicator reliability lab window and view summary so at a glance you can see that uh, TR um, indicator doesn't work as well for Tesla uh, as, as compared to Home Depot uh, neither does the cell reversal signal works even worse but RSI 30 less than 30 works better RSI 30 crossover works average uh, MFI works very well. CCI doesn't work so well. So immediately you can you can tell there is a. It's not about uh, one indicator um, that will work for all stocks. The reason that we have so many types of indicator that that, that we have today is one part reason is trading uh, personal preference, but the, a large uh, reason comes from that some indicators work for some group of in stocks and other indicators work for s s other subset of stocks. You don't want to um, keep looking for one indicator that works for all stocks. That is that is where most traders fail uh, because they feel that if RSI works well for stock A, it has to work for stock B and C that's not the case so if you look at this uh, stock ABT Abbott lab um, a big difference between TRTD uh, indicator versus RSI indicator RSI indicator almost doesn't just 50% means it's a flip of coin so you, you don't want to use anything less than 80% or 75 75 would be the cutoff point for me but again you can read uh, on my tutorial how to com com combine two indicators together for a stronger signal and you have to make sure the two indicators are not correlated MFI works fairly well but MFI crossover doesn't work at all and the CCI doesn't work out at all for Abbott lab stock and um, of course you can you can play with RSI say uh, RSI 50 uh, 14 uh, less than 30 doesn't work uh, but maybe if you play around with the parameters uh, it might work um, but 
the summary table will give you a broad sense which indicator to use and which which one not to use, um, and it saves you a lot of time from guessing whether the stock is gonna gonna is gonna be reliable uh, for this indicator or this indicator is gonna can be reliably used for this particular stock.